So in this soil are billions, billions of lives. We have microbes that are in the soil. And the plant builds a relationship with these microbes. So um, I'd like to tell you kind of how the system falls into place. The soil food web is made up of an incredible diversity of organisms. They range in size from the tiniest one-celled bacteria, algae, fungi, and protozoa, to the more complex nematodes and microarthropods, to the visible earthworms, insects, small vertebrates, and plants. As these organisms eat, grow, and move through the soil, they make it possible to have clean air, water, healthy plants, and they moderate water flow. So let's take a close look at what happens in the soil food web. So the plants take in sunlight and secrete carbohydrates and proteins, some of which are then excreted through the roots and into the rhizosphere. So that's the area right around the roots. Bacteria and fungi are attracted to the roots to consume the excrements and sloughed off cells from the roots. The bacteria and fungi are eaten by the protozoa and the nematodes and the nutrients that the protozoa and nematodes don't need are released as nutrients for the plants in the rhizosphere. Protozoa and nematodes are eaten by arthropods, and arthropods are the insects that have segmented bodies, such as spiders, moths, flies, grasshoppers, butterflies, bees, ants, beetles, and more. So the arthropods are eaten by snakes, toads, birds, and other animals. Earthworms that live in the soil eat bacteria, fungi, protozoas, and nematodes. So if you have a healthy worm population, then you have a healthy soil food web. So all dead plants, animals, and bugs are eaten by the bacteria and the fungi and add nutrients to the soil. Animal dung is consumed by the bacteria and the fungi and also adds nutrients back to the soil. So all of the eating and decomposing has byproducts of nutrients that feed the plants and the soil food web is a delicate structure. If one player is removed from the game, then the food web can be disrupted and not work. So the soil food web is critical to what's going on in our garden. Now, if you want some heavy duty reading, try this book, Teeming with Microbes. This is by Jeff uh, Lowensfell and Wayne Lewis. And this describes everything in nitty gritty detail and it has um, microscope pictures so you can actually see the fungi and the protozoas and it's an incredible book. A little bit of a heavy read, uh, you'll just have to go through it slowly. But anyhow, if you want more details, here it is. Oh my gosh, it's a great book. Okay, so now that we know that we have this living soil food web down here, what are its purposes? So one of the things that the soil food web does is it'll take the nutrients from decomposing um, plant materials, compost, uh, even some of the rocks and stuff. It breaks all that down so that the plants, it makes it plant available, so the plants can absorb the nutrients. So the microbes are critical to the plants being able to absorb all the nutrients that they need. When the plants can absorb all the nutrients that they need, then the nutrients are available to us. So here's the game. We have the soil microbes, we have the plants. Microbes feed the plants, the plants feed us. And if you disrupt any of this chain, we are not getting the nutrients we need. And that's one of the things that's wrong with farming in America today is this chain has been disrupted. One of the best fertilizers for organic gardens is worm castings. And I use this if I don't have a great source of compost. This week I would like to introduce you to JL Organics. They are an organic company that makes Vermisterra worm castings and worm casting teas for gardens and large scale organic farms. One of my favorite things about worm castings is that they contain millions of soil microbes that can increase the population in your garden. JL Organics is a family-run business. It was started in 2002 and is located in Thermal, California. Their products are certified organic and they work with farms to help them switch from chemical farming to organic farming. 
and they help farmers treat sick plants naturally, and they also help gardeners to have an organic gardens. Their Vermis Terrace worm castings are aged seven to 10 years to make sure all the undigested compost is broken down. That is really amazing that they will take seven to 10 years to make a very superior product. So we've been testing their castings and their teas right here on the farm, and we are very impressed with the quality. So if you don't have a good source of compost, then I highly recommend that you get some of the Vermis Terra worm castings to feed your soil microbes. So if you'd like more information, you can visit their website at vermisterra.com. And they were kind enough to give us a discount code so you can get a discount if you purchase. And that code is Living Farm. So you just type in Living Farm into the coupon code section and they'll give you a discount. Um, and if you do purchase from them, they will also give a percentage to our farm for our educational outreach program. So uh, it helps you and it helps the farm and it helps us to educate more people. So I would go check them out. And I want to thank, say thank you to JL Organics for offering us a discount and some help with our gardening education. So I would like to invite you to come and visit this garden. We are open now for tours and you can see the farm and the animals in this garden if you drop by. So we are open to the public Friday, uh, Saturday and Sunday afternoons from 1 to 6 p.m. all summer long. So if you would like to come out, go to thelivingfarm.org and you can find the details and you can come see this garden in person. So that's, that's a cool thing. We had a lot of great people come from all over the world even last year to come visit the garden. So I do encourage you if you're in Colorado, take the detour and come down and see us. So until next time, may your garden be easy, fun, productive, and always organic.